you know, team building, we would do it differently if you just had your normal set of circumstances. Part of team building is the fact that they're, they're really uh, together all the time, or almost all the time. They spend more time together, and there aren't, the, I'll call them distractions, but the other things that you can do when you're a college, uh, a college student. Even to the extent that when they do their classes, most of them are remote, we don't allow them to do them in their rooms. You know, they come to Cameron and we have three locations. You know, basically they see each other a lot. They're with each other a lot. And then when we have workouts, as we build from one-on-one -on -one to team workouts, they come to our practice facility and it's like a, a playground. You, you come and you're, you're with your friends. And to me, that has been the main part of team building, is the fact that we've been together in great locations where people care, and then they're doing what they want to do. You know, they want to play basketball, they want to get good grades, they want to be with, be with one another, and they're a little bit isolated in that re regard. And uh, so the, our, our guys really get along well. I mean, they've been terrific. Well, it's good to be having the show again and uh, sharing you know, what's going on with our program with all of you. And thanks for your support. I hope everyone is, is handling things well. Uh, obviously, since March, we've all been in a, a, a period of time that's never been experienced by any of us. And so uh, just in handling our own personal affairs has been crazy. But, uh, you know, what you do with your program is, is really interesting. We're, we're very fortunate that, you know, we have amazing people here at Duke and in Duke Athletics who've come up with a plan and, uh, where we could uh, protect our players, our, our staff, and their families, and uh, put them in as safe an environment as possible. And in doing that, that means you have to change things. Like our kids, they weren't here for summer school. You know, they, you know, where we have a transition period where we get to know them. They get to know Duke. You know, our freshmen don't get a chance to walk around campus and experience what a normal freshman would have. So uh, we've isolated them. Uh, the, up, the upperclassmen live off campus, but the uh, underclassmen live at the Washington Duke along with a number of other teams. And our, our athletic department's done an amazing job in making sure that, like, since the beginning of practice, we get tested every day, our staff, players. Uh, so far, everything's been negative, and as a result, we've been able to conduct and adjust and adapt and be agile in how we maneuver uh, this, uh, this new landscape that, that we're in, and it's gone very, very well. There we go, there we go. Yo, make sure, DJ. Make sure he see you coming down. One of y'all talk. So you going to get him? I got you down. If he come to get you, set him up. We have seven newcomers out of our 11 scholarship players. And so there's a lot of newness. And so the main thing is to get them together and where they have each other's back. I think they, I really think they do. They've been good to work with and really good to work with. But it, the, the, the team has to be built on our veterans. You know, they're, we have four kids that were part of a 25 and six team last year. I mean, we were playing outstanding basketball that last week of the season before the pandemic. And, you know, uh, Wendell Moore, Matt Hurt, uh, Jordan Goldwater, and Joey Baker had a big part in that. So it has to start there. And they have to up their games. And I, I think they are upping their games. Yeah, I see it in practice. And they have to do it even at a, a higher level uh, because uh, they can't assume that the younger guys know what they're doing yet, especially in game competition. And uh, basically, if those four guys take what I would call ownership, you know, uh, ownership at, in, in a leadership position, uh, we'll be better and they'll be better and they can help these guys adjust and adapt to what uh, the system we're trying to put in. And each year we put in a system 
based on the talents of the kids that we have. We're going to play up tempo. Uh, we'll pick up. You know, we'll try to use the whole court offensively and defensively, and uh, hopefully be deeper uh, than we have been. Depth is not the fact that all of them can play. It doesn't mean you're going to be good. Yeah, there still has to be some tiers in what, how you're doing it. It's not all equal. It, you know, we don't run a socialistic team and never have uh, run it. And uh, so you have to be, you have to complement the key players. And then the key players have to be key. And basically, that's the way we've done it for 40 years here. I do think that got, everyone's going to get opportunities. And when you get your opportunity, you need to be a player. And if, if you're playing well, you'll be on the court. If you're not, you're, you're not going to be on the court. And, uh, but everyone will have an opportunity to do that. And I think we'll see growth you know, with, our, with our guys. Once you get into games, there are 200 minutes in a game that you have for playing time. Five guys play you know, their 40 minutes. And so you can't play. 11 or 12 guys equal time, or else you're gonna you're gonna lose. You know your key players have to play 30, low 30 in minutes. If you have two of them who do that, then you got 140 minutes. You know, and 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 so how do you allocate that? How do you fit in? How many shots do you get? How do how do you play defense? Those are all those are all key things. Instead of just saying, boy, we have a lot of good players. We have to have a lot of we have to have good players who complement one another and uh, make effective use of their playing time. Duke All Access is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Together tastes better. By Continental Tire for what you do. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Nearly 150 years of experience goes into making each and every Continental tire. So you can trust with total confidence that our tires will deliver superior performance. No matter where the road takes you. Continental Tire. For what you do. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. Time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make, and we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. To help you do it right, we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash on the Built Ford Tough F-150 and Ford Ranger. That's on top of what your eligible trade is worth. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Six to shoot. Jones up top, hesitation move, down the lane, swatted out to Moore with one at the buzzer, no. They fight for the rebound, Hurt saves it, and then he's fouled. 11.7 to go, and this crowd erupts as Matthew Hurt pulls the biggest rebound of the night. Last year, you know, I don't think I competed in the way that I should and the way I'm capable of, so I think just you know, showing showing some glances, you know, with that rebound was uh was a good example of showing the younger guys what it what it takes to get a rebound in the ACC. 
So just, just you know, because a couple of the clips in practice, you know, they were showing, you know, charges, uh, deflections, and everything. So just, just the little plays that add up to big plays that that coaches is emphasizing. But yeah, the offensive rebound was, uh, you know, I thought was probably one of my best plays last year. You know, last year didn't didn't go as expected for me, but I feel like everyone has their own path and just just try to get better. I mean, that's just the main goal is just try to get better. But I mean, strengths and weaknesses, you know. You know, everybody knows I can shoot, but I feel like, you know, weaknesses, you know, my strength last year, how I play defense. So I just try to take that, take the weaknesses last year and try to make them a, a strength uh, during the off season. I got home around mid-March last year, took like a week or two off uh, since the season ended and just try to focus on just eating right, eat, eating a lot and just, just stay working out and lifting. You know, I got with our strength coach, Coach Will, um, three, four times a week we lifted. Um, so just doing that every day uh, during quarantine, I was lucky enough to find a gym in a, in a weight room, so I, I was blessed with that. So I think just doing that day by day until until I came back uh, back to Duke on on August second uh, was was really a benefit for me. Playing weight, I'm about 240. Playing weight last year was around 220, so it's about 20 pounds of of, of muscle, and then. I think I think it was more like just like being motivated to like get better and, and to see like the feedback uh, from my coaches, um, just try to get better. I feel like it, it, it's gonna impact uh, a big part of my game because you know a knock on me was you know I was a little lighter uh, guarding the four. People would try to take advantage of me down low, but I feel like this year, uh, especially on defense and also on offense, just like attacking it, um, being strong with the ball and just taking contact and finishing uh, over over taller defenders. Forced it to the right corner. Hurt deflected it and took it away. Three on three. Hurt leads the break. Down the lane. Scoop it up. Give it to him. And a chance for three. Yeah, I'm really proud of Matt, Matt Hurt. He, Matthew is, uh, you know, about 20 pounds heavier, and it's not bad weight. He's strong. You know, he's real quick. You know, he has really good feet. Obviously, he can score. But the, phys the, the, the strength that he has gives him an opportunity to drive more, go inside. And, uh, and he's played hard every second that we've been in practice or for individual work. He lives in the gym. My mentality, I think, I think changed a lot since last year. I think just being aggressive um, and just, just, trying to be, just trying to be the best, best player on the floor each time, uh, whether it's on my team or whether it's uh, on the floor. But I think, just trying to be aggressive and just trying to shoot, shoot my shots that, that you know I've practiced my, my whole life and just competing every play, um, just, just changing my mentality to being aggressive, um, playing better defense, uh, talking more, help, help, helping the younger guys. For Hurt on the right, Hurt for Jones. They work it around the perimeter, now inside for Carey, backing down on Williams, put the shot up, no, tap up. goodness, Hurt jamming it down. Handling the basketball. He's a reserve point guard. He got a pocket pick by Goldwire, who tapped it to Hurt. A chance to run. Two on three to the left corner. Moore thought about a three. Gets closer into the paint. Got his defender airborne to kick out Hurt. In the left corner has his second three of the night. Jordan going to the bucket. Scoop it to Hurt for a two handed rack attack. You know, Matthew Hurt's been our leading scorer, if not every day. Most days, he's been doing it from everywhere. You know, has played with. Uh, you know, uh, an incredibly high level of confidence, which uh, we've talked to him about. It's been great to see. He's becoming more vocal. I'd like to see him even more vocal. And, you know, like uh, John Lewis would, would say, get into good trouble. You know, I, you know, I think uh, Matt needs to, you know, be good selfish. <laughs> In other words, want the ball even more and shoot it more because he and Wendell should be our, our, our key guys and key scorers. Zion took it right out of his hand. The Game Breakers. Jones has the rebound. A chance to run four on three. The lob to Hurt catches, goes up for two more. Jones. Drives to the baseline, gets airborne to the left, Hurt a three. Give it to him! Out near the center circle, finds Hurt. Beyond the left elbow, drives inside, floats with the left hand and finishes! Across midcourt, down to seven and six. Jones on the right, to the left corner, Hurt a good look from three. Count it! Happy New Year indeed! As the Blue Devils go to the locker.
locker room with a 45 19 lead. Even though we can't have everyone gathered, we found new ways to make each occasion special. We're keeping your gifting experience both safe and personal through Reads.com, answering all your questions and guiding you to the perfect present, just like we have for over 70 years. Family always finds a way to celebrate life's moments together, no matter what. You won't just shop with confidence at Reads Jewelers and Reads.com. You'll feel like family. You're injured, but at the insurance company, it's business as usual. Denied. This guy? They call him the Deny Guy. Denied. D-E-N-I-E-D. -E -E Denied. Denied. He sings his song every day. Denied, denied, denied. Well, unless he hears from an experienced lawyer. Tell them you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. Let's talk about math. Fuel points math. For every dollar you spend at Harris Teeter, you get a fuel point. 100 fuel points equals 10 cents off per gallon. 200 fuel points equals 20 cents off per gallon. 1,000 fuel points equals $1 off per gallon on quality fuel. And if you're shopping at Harris Teeter with your VIC card, your fuel points are already adding up. Check the bottom of your receipt. Harris Teeter fuel points, an easy way to save on fuel. See harristeeter.com for details. Nearly 150 years of experience goes into making each and every Continental tire. So you can trust with total confidence that our tires will deliver superior performance. No matter where the road takes you. Continental Tire, for what you do. Duke 360, presented by Continental Tire, for what you do. With another influx of talented freshmen to Duke's roster and a young backcourt of DJ Stewart and Jeremy Roach uh, about to burst onto the scene, it's worth visiting or revisiting uh, the now lone recruited senior at the guard position or any position on Duke's roster, and that is Jordan Goldwire, taking a more conventional route, the route that used to be taken many years ago in college basketball. Jordan Goldwire has run his own race, so to speak, at Duke, from a little-used reserve to a part-time starter last year with Trey Jones. Uh, this is a guy who has found his niche both as a veteran leader, a veteran guard, but as a good defender, somebody that Coach K and the Duke coaching staff can count on as a defensive stopper, uh, particularly in the backcourt. And he's an improved offensive player. He's an improved shooter, uh, shooting 8 of 44 from three his first two years at Duke, shot 35% from three-point range last year. He is that leader and a guy that uh, the Duke coaching staff is going to count on in that backcourt as that veteran leader to handle the ball, to handle late game situations and to teach those new young talented guards and Stewart and Roach uh, to show them the way and, and not only work with them in practice on X's and O's and how to play the game, but how to understand the game, how to calculate the game, uh, particularly in late game close situations. So don't forget with all this influx of new talent uh, to this Duke roster and how exciting that is, don't forget, about Jordan Goldwire, the lone recruited senior left on this Duke roster who's gone about it in the conventional way and has made the most of his time in that Duke backcourt. Hollowell off of a screen at the right elbow, thought about a jumper, trying to feed one inside, stolen by Goldwire. He'll take it in transition, go all the way to the rim, and he'll have a chance for three. Well, you know, when Jordan Goldwire were bringing back a guy who played the most, you know, he and Trey developed uh, uh, an amazing relationship on the court and uh, defensively, offensively. Jordan's done a, a great job for us. He's really helped our young guards, uh, Jeremy Roach, DJ Stewart. He's been a, a good big brother for them. And it, look, he puts as good a pressure on the ball as anyone in the country. And he's stronger 
you know, he can guard any of the three perimeter positions. And he's become a good shooter, uh, good decision maker, and he's a key guy for us because he has been in big time games uh, and has produced on both ends of the court and uh, is a very unselfish uh, player. Uh, how he has progressed has been just so good. I'm, I'm very, very proud of him. I mean, as from his freshman year to now, it's like the old old days where guys just keep getting better and better and you have them for a long time. And he's very good right now. And you know, he's, he's one of our best players. Jones to the right of Baker, another touch to Goldwire, puts up the three, give it to him! I think all of us have uh, uh, progressed tremendously. And I think the biggest area that we all improved on is um, uh, we all became better leaders. Game-wise, I can say for Jordan, uh, he, he's also a lot more confident. Uh, he's shooting the three a lot better. Uh, he's getting in the lane a lot. Uh, he's just making everybody else around him better. Uh, he's the ultimate competitor, and he's ultimately one of the uh, best guys to play with because um, all he wants to do is win. Yeah, I can say the biggest thing for me is my confidence. Um, I'm coming in a, a lot more confident in my game. Um, Joey, he's obviously one of the best shooters we have on the team, uh, but now he has an opportunity more to put on the bounce, uh, make plays for others, and uh, he's doing a great job at that. Uh, Matt Hurd, I'm sure you guys have all heard, he's put on 20, 30 pounds of, of weight uh, when he's back home, and, and I think it's helped him a lot. Uh, he's a lot more stronger. Uh, he's able to um, defend uh, bigger guys a lot better, which gives us opportunity to put him at the five and give us more mismatches. Um, and we can take advantage of that on the offensive end because uh, he's obviously one of the best offensive players we have. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Okay. She's the one, and you know it. At Reads.com, we're making it easy to find the perfect ring from home. With helpful advice from our online jewelry experts, safe and discreet shipping, and beautiful ring packaging, you'll be confident the moment will be as perfect for her as she is for you. As a trusted jeweler for over 70 years, Reads Jewelers will be here to make both of you feel like family. Long after she says yes. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team. And it never tasted this good. It's bow time. Dad, we're hungry. Yep, to the grill. No, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of scratch-made chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Vintage Duke. I felt we were a tough team. You know, I felt, you know, in tough situations on the road, back against the wall, we always responded. At Wisconsin, at Wisconsin, um, for us to, you know, be a quote unquote young team, and it be our first true road game against, you know, one of the best teams in the country, and the way we played was great. Um, that's when I knew we had something special.
We're always concerned about what's going on up here and here uh, with all of our kids and you know what, what's happening in their environment. <clears throat> We're concerned about, we should be concerned about everybody. You know, we, our, our, our lives have changed. Their lives have really changed in regard to, you know, the, the time in college is precious. It, it's something that every youngster looks forward to, whether they play sports or not. And that's being denied to kids right now. The, uh, it, the interaction that you have with other students and that's on every level of education. So what we've tried to do is make sure they have fun together. Now they're lucky, and, and that's why one of the reasons we're close, we, are, we do have a chance to get together. A lot, of, a lot of people do not. And so really the mental aspect of it is to play basketball and have fun. People have not been in this before. So you know the main thing is to create an environment where it's happy, it's trusting, you look forward to being in it, and where you know that people care about you. And my whole staff has done that. Duke University Athletics, our, our athletic department has done that. And so uh, I'm really pleased, I'm proud of what my, my team around me have done. And I'm trying to let them do their thing and not, not do too much, but do enough where I complement all, all of that and, and organize it in a way where all the people around these kids can show their talent, strengths, their caring. And we have so many of them. You know, our, uh, during this time, I can tell you it's the proudest time uh, I've had in my four decades here at this great university and in this athletic department. Uh, we. It, the leadership in, at Duke and in Duke Athletics has really come forward and, and done a fantastic job. And it's created this environment, not just for the basketball team, but for all of our, our teams and for our students. Uh, a job greatly done, and we just have to keep it going.